Hey guys, Pablo with BND, and today at Top Reddit Post, we're gonna be taking a look at Entitled Parents Shopping Spree. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so, hit that notifications button and leave us a comment in the end of this video. You're a capable young man, so I can grab whatever I want from your shopping cart. Details, I am 17 and I live in the UK. This happened around December of last year. It happened in Lidl, to be exact. Now this is going to be a very long read, so prepared. EM entitled mom, EK entitled kid. My mom asked me to go grocery shopping because she was quite busy with something and I agreed to go. So I went to Lidl. I spent around 10 minutes looking for things on the shopping list. I decided to get a treat for myself because why not? So I got some Finkaraya chocolate. Note. This chocolate wasn't sold at the till in this location. I finally finished finding everything and made my way to the till. I was standing in line while using my phone just mind my business until this overly loud parent with her very hyperactive kid who looked around 8 came behind me in the line. You wouldn't mind letting us go in front of you, would you? I looked down at her cart which seemed to be a lot more full than mine and I decided I'm not in a rush. So why not, I replied, sure, and subtly smiled. She thanked me and went on to go in front of me. My impression of this woman seemed normal until this happened. The EK said as he was pointing to my cart. Mom, look, it's that chocolate that you promised to buy me the next time we go shopping. Oh yes, darling, I just remembered. The EM looked at me and said, may I grab the chocolate bar? The little one's been eager to get it. Now, this chocolate is somewhat far from the tills in this location as I mentioned earlier. Isn't sold at the tills either, so getting a new chocolate bar for myself would be in the shore. I replied, I'm sorry, I don't think I can give you the chocolate, it's quite far from the tills. Her smile quickly turned into a deaf stare and she said in a loud voice, Right. I don't care how far this chocolate is from here, now someone like you is more than capable of getting a new bar, so stop making George cross. I don't care how capable I am, I'm not going anywhere and this chocolate stay in my cart. Now, there was a lot going on through my head at this point, but I remember how the EK was reaching inside my cart, trying to grab the chocolate, so I quickly grabbed it myself and held it in my hand. Mom, the guy took the chocolate! Right, I've had enough. The EM reached my hand to grab the chocolate, but I moved in time and decided to go directly to the cashier and ask him to call a manager. Now, the cashier seemed to have witnessed everything, so he informed the manager about what happened. No more than two minutes of me awkwardly standing and the manager arrives. She walks up to the EM and quietly asks her to leave and the EM kept trying to incriminate me somehow until she finally paid for her groceries and left. Me, the cashier and the manager had a laugh about it after she left. Now that I think about it, that scene wasn't worth a chocolate bar, but oh well. Dude, really, are you going to get that nasty because of a chocolate bar? I mean, I guarantee if she had nicely asked the kid and explained why she needed the chocolate bar, you wouldn't have such an issue, and almost since the kid even let her go in front of him. But the problem is, when you feel entitled to someone else's stuff, yeah, it's not gonna work, and people may actually not do something they would otherwise. Yes, ma'am, you are still responsible for your children while out shopping. Now please get them to stop destroying our store. This story comes from my time working in a small shop. We're not having a good day to begin with. The internet was down, so we couldn't use the tool or computer. And the only people working that day were me and my manager. She was out the back trying to contact tech support, while I was alone in the shop keeping customers informed. I thought this couldn't get any worse, but I hadn't counted on any entitled parents coming through the door. Just when I thought the shop was empty, I noticed two tiny little girls hiding and giggling amongst the clothes. One looked to be about 18 months old and the other was maybe 3 years. I looked around and couldn't see any adults in the shop or on the street, and the kids didn't respond to me asking where their mummy was. Seeing they'd been found, the girls got up and ran around laughing bumping into various bits of furniture on the way. Being only 15 myself, I had no idea what to do other than stop the children hurting themselves. 
The older girl almost pulled down a six-foot glass cabinet before I could stop her. Every time I would grab hold of one kid, the other would try to knock something else over. I called for my manager, but she couldn't hear me, and I was afraid that the kids would get hurt if I let to go and get her. So it looked like I was on my own. After about two minutes of this chaos, my manager thankfully came to check on me and grabbed one kid while I grabbed the other. I explained the situation we said about trying to find the mother. A while later, the mother herself arrived with a third child. At this point, I would have forgiven everything if the mother had shown any concern for the fact that her children, who could barely talk, had sneaked away from her for 15 minutes. But this lady was entirely uninterested and was on the phone to someone about her weekend. She barely acknowledged us or any of the growing number of customers who were rightly concerned about her kids. My manager politely requested that in the future she keep a close eye on her young children, to which she replied, Well, I didn't know they were gone, now did I? This is where the true entitled parenthood came out. The mother continued her phone call in the doorway while the children continued to run around. We repeatedly asked her to get hold of her children as they are disrupting other customers and pulling things off the shelves, to which she would glare at us and do nothing. Eventually, the manager did everyone a huge favor and told a lot of them to leave. They ain't doing any harm, the mother shouted, without even looking at her kids and the mess they'd made. Please, if you can't control your children, then I can't have you in this shop. I've got enough to deal with today as it is, said my manager. I gestured towards the door. This set the woman off and she started complaining about how a kid like me would never understand how hard it is to be a parent. She understands that children that young shouldn't be left in their own devices. My manager defended me. Oh, come on, you two were doing just fine watching them just now. Please, if you don't leave, I will have to ban you. The woman cursed us and finally left with her kids. What an absolute vile mother. My manager said once we were alone. And that's the story of the only time my manager got angry at a customer. Occasionally, we would still see the same family walk past the shop window. The mother was always on her phone and would always glare at me as she passed. People, look, I have a kid, alright, I have kids. So, and I'll tell you this, when my daughter was little, I never let her out of my sight. I didn't care if I had something important, if I had an important phone call, she was right next to me. And it's not about being an overprotective parent, it's because they're kids. You know, you gotta take care of them, and they think everything is a huge playground, so just watch your kids, please. Entitled parent tries to steal my shopping. Okay, so I'm still a little bit startled, as it just happened. EP Entitled Parent, EK Entitled Kid, also first post on this, plus mobile, so sorry. Me and my boyfriend are having a Game of Thrones marathon before the new season, so I decided I'd quickly run down to the shop and get a few things so I don't have to leave the house all weekend. I get to the supermarket, get a big packet of crisps, wine and things for dinner. I go to the self-service checkout and scan everything, but as I'm going to pay, I see EK, who must have been at least 10, next to me trying to grab the crisps out of my bag. I quickly notice as I'm paying and say, Hey, sorry, dear mine, could you please leave my shopping alone? At this point, EK starts screaming at me and crying. I look up to be greeted by the very angry entitled parent. How dare you make EK cry? Give him the packet now! I'm completely startled. I don't do well with any kind of confrontation, so I called over a member of the staff to help and show them that I just paid for it. All while the ZP is screaming at me, calling me every name under the sun, security's called to deal with this woman when her kid tries to now steal my bottle of wine. I pick up my bags as I've just had enough, start walking out of the shop to EP screaming at the top of her lungs. Stop that fatty, she's stolen my shopping! I just stop, look at the lovely member of the staff and she just smiles and say, Go, it's fine, we'll deal with this. Honestly, have never had such an odd shopping trip. <sighs> I don't even know what to say. I mean, uh, respect other people's stuff and teach your kids to do the same. 
Entitled Dad interrupts my shopping to the man that I work. Some backstory, I've been working at Walmart for six years, and Entitled Dad comes into the shop at least twice every week. So we spot each other there all the time, but have never actually spoken before this point. Yesterday, I was off work. I went to Walmart to do some grocery shopping. Sure, it sucks to be there while I'm not working, but I get an employee discount. Anyway, as I shop, it's not uncommon for people who shop there regularly to recognize me as an associate. However, they usually leave me alone because I'm clearly not working, not wearing my vest or Walmart hat. This time though, ED spots me shopping. He was in front of the toy department with his daughter, I think age of 6 or 7, when he saw me shopping. It should be easy to see that I'm not working. As I said, no vest or hat with Walmart spark. I was also pushing that cart of food and small household needs. Entitled Dad made his way over to me and just stopped directly in front of my car to keep me from moving forward. I need you to help me get a bike down the rack. I'm sorry, but I'm actually not working right now. I'm sure there's another associate around here that can help you. What do you work here? You have to help. That's your job. As I said, I'm not working right now. I'm just here to shop. You shouldn't be here if you're not working. You're here, so do your job. Annoyed, I tried to turn my car to get around ED. Even though I wasn't on the clock, I didn't want to say anything that could get me in trouble because I was still inside my workplace. I need that bike for my daughter. Are you seriously trying to walk off and not help us? Listen, I'm not allowed to help you while I'm not on the clock. Then just clock in and help me. It won't take a few minutes. I can't do that. Why not? I would need a manager to override. I can't just clock in whenever I want. But as I've said, there are other associates here that may help you. Entitled Dad's daughter was getting upset that no one was getting a bike down for her. Entitled Dad was getting frustrated, as was I. Entitled Dad glared at me and grabbed his daughter's hand. I'm going to speak to your manager. I can guarantee that you won't have a job after this. You can't treat customers like this. I'm a customer right now too, man, but okay. Entitled Dad stormed off with his daughter to find a manager. I finished my shopping. Today at work, my manager brought it up to me and said not to worry about it. Some customers just don't understand the fact that employees aren't always working. We don't help you out of the kindness of our hearts. We help you because we're getting paid to do it. I'd love to find Entitled Dad's workplace and demand for him to help me on his day off. Guys, look, I know a lot of people that they actually would have even an employee's discount and they do not shop in the place they work for that same reason because people think it doesn't matter if they're on vacation, doesn't matter if they're in their weekend off, they still somehow have to do the job they are paid in the other days they're not off. That's stupid, okay? Come to the guy, oh, I'm sorry, you're not working, I didn't know, and just go on with your life. In the most at Walmart, you have associates everywhere, okay? Just go look for someone else. Well, guys, I hope you liked this video, and I'll be seeing you tomorrow for more Ready Top posts. I hope you guys have a great Saturday, and don't forget to subscribe, leave me a comment, and a thumbs up, and hit that notification bell side. Take care, guys, and have a great end of the day.